Hey guys, so I promised all these live videos during the build out. I said that I would come back and give you another tour of the space when we were working on it and it turns out that um, when you're building out a space all of your time and energy ends up going to building the space out and you don't make a lot of videos. So um, I'm here today before classes start in our first week of classes. We had our soft opening on Tuesday um, with our drills class and tonight is our first. Hey Sigil, good to see you too baby. Um, it's our, uh, our first tribal classes in the space which is particularly special and I'm not going to cry. Okay, I'm probably going to cry but I'm going to try not to cry on video. How about that? Um, but I thought that I would give you guys some of that tour that I promised belatedly. Um, but frankly, the space is so pretty now, it's so much nicer to get to share it with you now. So um, we're in the front lobby in the um, bodywork wing that we have yet to name. So this is the front door that everybody enters through. Um, and this is the um, waiting room that everybody sees when they come in. So it's this really warm um, yellows and turquoises and really serene, serene lobby um, that's ideal for people who are coming for like physical therapy or massage or acupuncture, or, you know, whoever we get in here. And um, so when you come in, dancers will see this sign here telling you to head down this hallway here. So that's where we're going to go, down the hallway. Um, these rooms are definitely not done yet. We've got some color on the walls, which is cool. Um, this is the purple room that we're working on here. One of the larger rooms. Got a little bit of furniture, and here's where we've been doing all our sewing of all of our many, 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 many curtains. Don't need any more curtains, probably. Um, this is the orange room, our smaller room. Um, and again, it's, I like it better, Jim. Oh, isn't that nice? Nice orange walls and pretty eye cat on the walls there. Yeah. Um, and then we enter into the dance space back here. So let's head on in there. We have our sign-in desk for the dancers here as soon as we come in. Um, those are basically hiding all of our... <laughs> hmm our mess. It's hiding our mess. This is where all of our construction stuff still is because we're still working on a lot of stuff in here. Um, trim on the on the floors and kind of finish work stuff isn't done yet. Um, so we're working on that. So then here behind me is the dancers lounge. So this is kind of more of a hangout space. Um, definitely going to be less tranquil than the front lobby because um, we love to chat and hang out and there'll be lots of music and fun stuff. Um, our inspiration board up there, and um, the beginning of an altar over here. Um, over here is where we're going to actually have a television. We have a 46-inch flat screen TV that's going to go here, and we're going to have an Apple TV hooked up to it. And I'm going to um, basically put all of like my favorite workout videos um, onto that so that students can use it as a reference library, like a digital reference library. And in fact, we're going to put a bookcase in here and I have like tons of back issues of Zagarit magazine and um, other belly dance magazines that have gone out of print since or out of, uh, out of circulation actually. Um, so people can read about all the dancers that came before us, all of the, the teachers and innovators that made the belly dance world we know mm -hmm. what it is. So I'm heading into the kitchenette here. I left the lights off. There we go. So here's our little kitchenette. It's got um, a mini fridge. We're hoping to get a full-size fridge eventually. Come on, Craigslist. I know you can come through for me. Um, and our microwave and all of our snacks and um, alcohol in here. Yeah. Well, I know, right? A kitchen. It's unbelievable. Um, and then the dressing area. This area um, is definitely a work in progress. We don't have everything done in here, but it's yet a third <laughs> sofa, yet a third sitting area in here. So if your friends get in change, you can hang out and chat them up. It also serves as the second dancer lobby for the jewel box studio that we're going to go into in just a second. Um, but we have these kind of makeshift curtain area um, for a dressing area in here. Yeah. And then the jewel box. So the big studio is awesome. I love the warehouse because it's big and I, I love big groups of enthusiastic dancers, but 
the jewel box was kind of near and dear to my heart. It's just so pretty and so sweet in here. Um, so this is our jewel box. This one, we're, we were back up by the street again when we're in here. I'll leave that off too. Um, so it has its own set of French doors. So um, if instructors want to have a separate entrance for their students when they're renting the studio, they can. Um, it's got its own set of cubbies and um, a little bench there. It's on its own separate heat too. So if this room is running a little hotter or colder or whatever, they have temperature control. Um, I love the curtains in here when the sun's shining in. Isn't that nice? Um, and then we have our music cabinet over here in the corner. This will not be here forever. Um, this was a Craigslist find as a temporary fix, but this is where we're hoping to actually have a piano. Um, the uh, property manager, Greg, super, super nice guy, the guy that, that got me to rent this place, um, he has a standing grand piano that he has no place for and said that he would donate it to the studio so we can rent this room out for uh, like music and voice lessons. It's probably when we have our drumming classes back, we'll have them in here. We're working on getting some um, chairs. Uh, as a board gamer, I'm kind of hoping I might hold some board game nights in here, folding tables set up and, and play some games with my pals. I think that would be really fun. So we'll see how that evolves. Um, and bonus, this one has its own uh, restroom. So this is a second restroom when um, no one's in this room, um, but when someone's renting it, it'll be just for their students, so nobody's walking through their space. And we have our, oh, I'm going to turn the slide off, hang on. And uh, we have our, our first bathroom is in here at the end of the kitchenette, which you might have seen when we first uh, showed a tour of the space. So then we come to the, the crown jewel of the space is the warehouse. This is the big studio um, right through here. I'm going to turn my music down here. So this is 840 square feet. Um, it's got a cushioned bamboo floor. So this has basically a dancer underlayment underneath it to protect our knees and our feet, uh, which I'm really happy. Like it's, it feels really soft and nice in here but the floor is slick enough that you can really get your spin on, which is cool. Um, over here is our temporary mirrors. Those came from my home studio that was in my basement for a long time. Um, and so these are just placeholders. You can see that, that gap in the middle is where all of the mirrors are going to go. So there'll be six by eight panels running the length of the floor um, down to the music cabinet down here. Um, and I really wanna see a lot more art on these walls. Everyone keeps asking me, what am I going to do with these walls? They look at the plywood and they're like, you're going to paint them or something? Actually, I don't want to. I like that this is a warehouse, that this used to be a storage space for an antique shop. Um, I kind of like honoring that industrial vibe by leaving it really raw and then overlaying things that are interesting and beautiful to us on that kind of raw canvas. Uh, so this was a piece that I got for free on Craigslist, actually. It's humongous. Um, pretty awesome. Thank you, Craigslist, again. And then I would love to see art from like our students and other people in our community adorn the walls, photographs of dancers, inspirations. I, I really want to make it kind of an interesting, changing space for art. Yeah. And then um, up here we have our first set of cafe lights that um, my friend Jenna got me for my birthday, and we're going to put some more up so that we can dance in this nice light. And then there's our garage door, which is the best part, especially right now when we're having hot weather in Seattle. We just throw the big door open, fan blowing cool, fresh air in. Um, I think when you were last year, I couldn't show this to you guys because it was filled with garbage. But we have our, it's our own little patio area out here. So it's all enclosed. We're going to bring some um, outdoor furniture out here so people can hang out before or after class. And I plan on hanging some cafe lights out here as well. And there's T-Rex. How awesome is that? That's thanks to Hassani. She got that um, for a Hofla a couple years ago. Not last August, but the August before. Um, on, a, on a lark. And then she didn't know what to do with it. And I said, oh my god. T-Rex is coming home with me. So she sold them to me. And we've got them. And there's the other uh, cubbies for in this room. And um, we've got this big ottoman for sitting on. And then our storage closet is back here for this space. Um, we have a loft up there. Um, it's really just a storage loft. 
Um, it's kind of dirty and nasty right now. Not really much to look at. But it's good to have storage up there that's not taking up precious floor space for us dancers down here. Yeah, right, Nancy? What I really want, Nancy, actually, is for T-Rex to be on that back wall. So, so when we're dancing in the mirrors, it looks like T-Rex is dancing with us all the time. I think that would be pretty cool. <laughs> uh, but, but for now, he's hanging there because we don't have any um, attachment points over here on the back wall for him because he's humongous. He's like 10 by 10. Um, so, yeah. I, again, I'm really sorry that I didn't do more videos. Um, during the build out like I promised it's just been it's been crazy hectic you guys I've been I've been living here my husband's been living here um, my students have been awesome volunteers coming multiple times a week like three four times a week sometimes for hours on end doing like really shitty work like really hard work crawling around the floor and lifting heavy things and cleaning dirty dirty spaces and they do it with a smile and ask me when's the next work party? Like, it just has been blowing my mind um, how much everyone has come out to make this uh, possible and how much everyone has really um, embraced it as their own space, which is exactly what I hoped, right? This isn't about building a space that I'm going to hang out in. It, it's for all of us. It's for our tribe. It's for our extended tribe, all of you guys out there who might come here for workshops or um, teach workshops yourselves, right? This would be a really great space to bring everybody together. That's, that's my dream. So, um, yeah, we're about, uh, we're about a half hour out from classes starting, so I'm going to go and get my sign-in sheets ready. Um, but I wanted to share it with you guys, and thank you all for your support throughout this campaign. Um, not just financially, but just, like, cheering on. I don't think you realize how much just kind words have made a huge difference when I was feeling really tired, uh, you know, frustrated. There's still so much work to do. Like, sometimes I just feel really overwhelmed. And just one kind word from you guys can lift my whole day, can make it so much, really lift the burden a lot just through your positive energy. So I'm really so grateful for that. Um, I hope to bring you some more videos of us dancing in our space. And I hope that we'll actually get to see you here. I'm hoping in October to have our grand opening. It'll be on a Friday or Saturday. I'm hoping on a Saturday in October. I'm checking out dates now. And it'll be um, a big celebration in the community and food and drink and dance. And it's going to be awesome. So I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, I hope you can make it. And if not, I... I'm hoping to do this again. I'll do some live stuff so those of you who can't be here um, can be here virtually at that time. So stay tuned, guys, uh, and I hope to see you all soon. Mm -hmm.